Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Duke, and we are about to embark on another episode of Right Makes Might. Well, we find out this week that 1,000 teachers, public school teachers in Seattle public school system, have now agreed to participate with the Black Lives Matter organization. With the strong backing of the school system administration, these teachers will now wear Black Lives Matter t-shirts in class all week, all day. More than that, they are already changing the curriculum for the school week uh, to be able to make every single class in the school about race all the time. Some of the t-shirts will even go so far as to include a raised fist, the controversial and divisive image popularized by the radical Black Panthers movement. To say that this is a problem is an understatement. What allows groups of teachers and their representatives to all of a sudden decide they're going to partner with a very controversial political organization, an organization that has been involved in riots and protests, an organization whose membership has participated in acts of arson and uh, uh, vandalism in the name of its cause, an organization that's funded by people like George Soros? The Seattle Education Association, SEA, passed this resolution unanimously supporting Black Lives Matter initiatives, stating that, quote, they will endorse and participate in an action wearing Black Lives Matter t-shirts on Wednesday, October 19th, with the intent of showing solidarity, promoting anti-racist practices in the schools, and creating dialogue in our schools and communities. Isn't that ironic? That they're going to create dialogue and conversation in our schools by not consulting with anybody other than themselves about this, right? They're not going to talk to parents, they're not going to talk to families, they're not going to talk to school boards, they're just doing it on their own. Keep in mind that this is the same progressive Washington State Educational Administration who has banned all sorts of things that they didn't like, including in August of 2015, Mariner High School in, in Washington State. Uh, administrators banned jerseys and sports apparel in the public schools that were not related to a Seattle team because of quote unquote gang associations. Please explain to me how associating with Black Lives Matter isn't equivalent to participating in gang activities. Kids at the Mercer Island School District outside of Seattle are now banned from playing the popular childhood game of tag on the playground because it results in hurt feelings. How about Bainbridge Island, Washington State? A kindergarten teacher in Washington State is banning the use of Legos among her male students, get this, in the name of gender equity. Keller says she started doing this because boys were flocking to the colorful blocks during their free choice playtime. Let me pause there for a second. The irony of this, Keller is such a poorly educated public school teacher that she doesn't realize that free choice means the ability of kids to freely choose what they want. No, she's taking free choice playtime, unironically, to use that as an opportunity to prohibit boys from freely choosing and to compel girls to choose against their wishes. This is what we're dealing with in Seattle Public Schools. This is what we're dealing with in the progressive education establishment. The same people who ban kids in their schools from wearing NRA t-shirts because of the incendiary political message it sends, now pairing with Black Lives Matter. Can you imagine if a group of kids showed up with All Lives Matter t-shirts? How though, not only would those kids be booted out of school, suspended, they would be accused of being absolutely racist for doing what they do. Yet Seattle Public Schools have decided on their own to partner with Black Lives Matter. This is what we now have in this country. Leftist radical activism is okay in the classroom, even without consultation, but anything that bucks that trend or argues a different point of view has to be removed from the schools. This is where we sit today. This is Right Makes Might with Dr. Duke.